Hey, Mcathlon Gamer, welcome back to PCM 23 Lions. This is episode 88, continuing on with the Tour de France. Now on stage number nine, and we have an Arscat climb. It's going to be tough. Uh, for that, we're looking at trying to take things a little bit easy on this first climb, at least for a while. And of course, the continued strategy of as long as we have the yellow jersey, we need to make sure we're in the breakaway and not... Uh, having to control the pack. So today, Carolus did work for a while, but has since turned into protecting uh, the group leader, which is the Shimwe, who sits fifth overall. We're down to just six of 18 already, early in the climb. A lot of that happened because it took a long time to establish the breakaway. Uh, a Shimwe, of course, in the King of the Mountains jersey attacked from kilometer zero and Carolus was right beside him so I attacked with both of them uh, of course Samuels was also there but they never let him get away as the overall race leader but the beautiful thing about what happened is that a Shimwe who sits fifth is not deemed a threat by anyone and certainly not the race leader as it's his teammate so he attacked and they let him go and here we are getting down to Plap getting dropped. Okay, there's a key rider from last stage. Careless is about to get dropped uh, as well, but he's he's currently third. Set him to auto. Shimwe is now one of two riders here. Fortunato. Fortunato's not working, but he's the one signal. Is he not working because the Shimwe is not working? And then Skilmoza. Skilmoza, only a 72 base mountain. It's the medium mountain that's good, but this is not been that type of climb we are going to have to contribute uh, and I mean, there's still 5k to go here folks so and fortunato is going to attack so we'll just hang with them this will weaken the three okay and now we're looking at less effort or do i just continue an attack and go solo well, now it's down to Fortunato and I. Will Fortunato work? Scalmosa dropped. Top two on the climb. Still 4K to go, though, and definitely not a ton of energy. Um, looks like we can go solo here in just a second or just attack again. He can't handle the pace, or can he? He seems to be handling it. So ease off on the relay. Careless going solo following Plap. Now being caught by Tollett. So both of them are here again. This is the second and third place guys in the King of the Mountains. Careless, we're going to want to uh, sit on and not cooperate. Uh, whoa, Careless. I said sit on. Careless, dude. 85 was not sufficient when it was saying 50 effort needed to relay. There you go. Sit on. <laughs> Make them do the work. And then try to beat them to the top because of the points involved. Uh, meanwhile, ooh, that's the peloton. Well, actually good news there. That means they're not going to get caught. That also means that Samuels can go for some points at the top. There's only three guys up the road. Uh left once these three are reeled in in a moment that means there's 10 points available for samuels and while we've drifted ever so slightly there's now just 3k to the top so go ahead and up the effort uh careless continuing to just sit on shimway now in the front two is getting support now from fortunato 1.9k we've recovered a little bit Attack. Uh, back to a front three. Skilmosa not working, though. Three minutes ahead of the peloton. 1K. Fortunato attacking. That's all he had. Shimwe pushing to go over the top, and he will go over the top. First place. Wow. Ooh, oh, buddy. 20 points in the KOM for a Shimwe right there. Uh... He can already back off. And then, how are we looking? 1.3k. <laughs> Samuel's attacks. Others are going to definitely follow. 
Uh, Careless has nothing left to attack with right now. Uh, Arab's a little too far down, so... <clears throat> 1.3k, Samuels. Tullet, Plap, Donovan. That's second, third, fourth going for it. Samuels follows behind. Can he make contact with those guys? It's saying he's in contact. He's a minute ahead of the peloton at the moment. Make them uh, chase us down, but we'll just sit on with those two. Even if they sit up, that's fine. More points. More points. We're back down to two. Fortunato. Skilmoza got left way behind there. 3K. Short climb. Long descent. Back to a front three. <clears throat> These guys are still a minute ahead. <clears throat> oh my voice what is going on today 2k right now Fortunato doing the work that's good for Shimway we'll focus on him uh, Jansen to ride for yourself for now there's Samuels coming back again we're about to drop one rider and again, we're about to attack. There's no longer cooperation. Fortunato trying to attack. Shimway, whoa, buddy. Why did you attack so freaking hard and then just stop? Second over the top for this climb, but that's okay. It's fewer points. We're only going to lose two points out of that. Go 99 for a little bit to make up that ground. Make it a front two. Still have a chance at a stage, though it's, it's only three and a half minutes ahead of the peloton. Da, da, da. Those two just attacked again, didn't they? Uh, it's 400 meters. Hey! What the heck? <laughs> That's definitely Samuels over the top first. Good. Okay, sit. Ease off. Meanwhile, we've got the full team, even though there's only 118. Bari. Hangs on over the top. He's last place of our riders. He'll recover. Samuels. Just sitting on to get that full strength. So he got a little bit in terms of KOM points today. Not, not a ton, but picked up maybe eight points. We've caught up here. Oh, hello. That was a fall, was it not? Fortunato? Fortunato falls. Ashimwe is on his own, but 66k to go. Go ahead and get your water. Crap! Careless. Samuels just went down as well. Argave went down. He's already behind these guys. Samuels is back up. And in the peloton. Uh, well, let's Careless is not, though. We'll check on him in a moment, but Jansen. Samuels needs to get back forward. He was no longer in the group. Careless is okay. Following Aragave. You know he wants to get back up there. There's Samuels, already recovered. And already with protection. Bari. What's your deal? Uh, who were you protecting a moment ago? Matoni. Samuels, 83 downhill. He's fast on the downhill. And he'll get back in position without having wasted any energy. Matoni, there's Matoni. Let's get Bari on Matoni. And on water duty, just 56 in the peloton at the moment. 31 in the chase group. So that's still 87 there in contact, and Careless still following Aragave, letting him waste his energy. That's He's only 52nd overall, but he's an 80-80. All these guys going to get water, and they lose contact. And we're not having to chase because, hey, look, it's a front two. A Fortunato got back up. 
Got back in contact. Shimwe. Just 215 ahead, meaning he's not likely to hang on much longer. Two riders. That much energy to climb. That much energy to battle. That little energy left. Stage is not on today for a Shimwe, but massive points, right? Uh, we're we're 23 points already. I think we were second over that second climb, if I remember. Uh, Donovan's back. But with only three riders, you have to contribute. At least, f at least f faint <laughs> uh, contribute. So back to 89. Ten just got dropped. Careless among them. Careless did not get his water. He better get his water right now before we regain contact. Front four now. A fourth rider. Mark Donovan. Mark Donovan has made it up here. Fortunato, the only one working now. Donovan and Skilmosa decide not to. Just 50 seconds ahead, 5k to the next climb. A Shimwe, we want to go for these points. He's not going to be in good shape for that final climb, but he can still do something on this climb. It's only 50 seconds. It's a short gap at 3.8. Uh, that means these guys need to up the effort. There you go. Careless still not in contact. In fact, that gap has grown significantly. Aragave was in there so that's one big stage winner potential guy out of the mix gel we've dropped skilmoza 2k we're dropping donovan he didn't have enough left when he got here 2k here we are us and fortunato again and he's been doing most of the work for quite a while uh we're on the Kind of blocked us off there, 1.2k. We're going to start the attack gently. And we're done. Out of energy. Hello, hello, who's attacking? Tullet, Plap. Okay. Going for those KOM points. But we still pull away. 83 now. Plap has 46. Big day. Tullet still right there. Fortunato up to 40. Donovan at 32. Samuels has 23. Next in that line, right now anyway, at the near midpoint of this race, there's really only that handful of guys left going for it. Uh, this Cat 1 is going to be a great opportunity to be aggressive and, and try to do a little bit of an attack of sorts. And are we seeing Mataway? Vingegaard from 7th? Plap is 6th, what the heck? Uh, <laughs> He's like a Shimway, not going for it. Mataway is not a threat, but Vingegaard is. Vingegaard, that's not KOM points. That That is a full-on attack. A Shimway is still second. Really needs that recovery. Bari's gone. Careless is gone. Put them both on auto. Careless, back within a minute, but it's too late on that part. Seeing splits in the chase group on this descent. I've got five riders. The two main ones are being protected. Cloat needs to gel, even though we've still got a little ways to the climb. And a Shimwe can drop back and provide support. Uh, I don't mind him losing fifth place because we want him to be able to go in breakaways. Okay, we've caught those guys down to just the last two breakaway riders, and Ashimwe is just right there. Ashimwe will protect Matoni briefly. Base of the climb, 8k. I've got five riders to use. We're going to wait about one kilometer, if possible, before we try to take control of this race. Cloat's the last guy in the group, already starting to fade. The others are well positioned. Okay, we've already done two kilometers. Let's bring it down to six. Right now things are kind of comfortably in control. Nobody's looking like they're about to attack. There's the first sign of an acceleration from Enric Moss. Shimwe is done, so we're down to four. 
that's kind of where I wanted to be with this much time left anyway. So we have Martoni or Jansen. Uh, Jansen first. Oof, look at that 80 medium mountain. Uh, that's going to be bad for Matoni though. And Samuel's finish line is not over the top of this climb. Just starting to emerge forward. There's Fortunato about to get caught. Tony Hansen, Arab Samuel. We are well placed. We are now in control with 4K. 4K to go. Give that last little bit, last ounce. We are starting to thin the group. Down to 53. But Tony's done. On to Jansen. I want that 90. Nice, crisp, clean 90. Down to 50. Tony, done. Shimway losing that time. He's already lost four minutes. That's going to bump him out of the top 10. Jansen is done. On to Arab 48 riders. 2K to go. We're not going to get this down to zero, folks. This is a uh, medium mountain, though, for Arab. 83. That breaks up the group. Gets it down to 37. Down to 35. More dropping out. Sivakov out. Bernal is out. Lawrence is out. Milhovic is out. There goes Champison and Hershey and Pare Pinter. Down to 26. Arab doing some damage. 300 meters. Let's go get maximum points with Samuels. Let Arab follow. Down to 24. Samuels gets max points. And we have a small group. Samuels now at 33 up to 5th ahead of Donovan. And now, Arab just barely making it there. Down to 15 as we crest. Good downhill rider in Samuels, but we have got to conserve energy for him for the finish. Uh, but a group of 15 means time gains. And no time losses, and still have a gel. Uh, ever so slightly capable as a sprinter. Down to 14 now. Arabs recovering. Samuel's the stronger rider right now, and better downhill guy. Gently keeping that pressure on, getting that little bit of recovery for the end, but hopefully not going too deep here. Uh, but opening gaps behind and setting this up, easing off just a little bit so he can both recover and descend well. That's now going splendidly. Samuel's getting some recovery, making him stronger, setting him up. Arab now catching up. Inside 10K. Gel coming soon for Samuel's as we just want to make sure we don't lose time more than anything else. Back up to 15. 7K. Gel now. Down to 4. We just split things off. Pagatcher. Leknesund. <laughs> we just split these guys off. Uh, we want to relay both. The others are chasing. They are closing that gap. 4.6K. They're supposed to be contributing, but they're not. Still 8 seconds ahead. 3k to go. Back together. No longer anyone contributing, but we're at the front. And we are not going to run out of energy. 2k. 1.8. Uh, Arab, 1.8. Lead out Samuels. Okay. 1.2. Arab giving the proper sprint lead out. Let's see if we can get a top three with Samuels, potentially. I think we've got a top three. Can we squeeze? No, nope. Pagatcher's going to win, or is Samuels going to steal it? No. Oh, that was so close. So close. Pagatcher did celebrate, and it was looking like it might have been too, like, 
we're, we're talking millimeters Big Atcher over Samuels, but he gains six seconds, only loses four seconds to Big Atcher. Big Atcher remembers like 15th, it's seven, eight minutes down, six minutes down. Uh, Leknesun, Almeida, Tollet gets fifth, Brambilla, Arab gets seventh, Vingegaard, Petrovic, Martinez. And small group, just 15 riders at the finish. So we just improved our position today in the KOM. We improved our position in the GC. And we came millimeters away from our third stage victory. Didn't get it though, but damn. We need a stage win for uh, Arab, the Moroccan. That's a th like a 3-2 nation or a 3-3 nation. A Shimwe losing 19 minutes today, but cementing his KOM position. We didn't get our top three. Jansen was way down in 45th, so we are going to lose some time in the team standings on this one. And a Shimwe is long gone from the top 10, but that makes breakaways easier for him, especially now while he's got the ability to uh, handle being in the breakaway. He does need some rest days, but man, oh man, that was great for the KOM battle. That polka dot jersey, he, he, he's in for a shout now. He's got enough points. He's not secure, but he's got enough points to have a chance at that. We we timed that so well, but Pagatcher, we, we had him one meter after the line. 11 riders. Then separation of Edipol Arnsman losing a little bit of time. Paulus uh, Van Eatvelt losing a little time. And then a minute to the chasing pack. And really that chasing pack was just four individuals, five, six individuals, seven, eight individuals before you... Actually, there's nothing. It's ones and twos. It's literally ones and twos uh, way down past Matoni. Okay. GC, Samuels, 54 second lead, keeps the jersey for now. Uh, Almeida's a minute down, Leknesun, Martinez, Vingegaard's up to fifth. Of course, the Shimwe was the one who was there. Brambilla up two spots, Petrovic, Palas up two spots. We're, we're looking at semi-healthy gaps already down to, like, Palace for 20. 317, top 7, definitely still in range. Samuels is going to be capable of losing time, especially during the final week when that fitness peak will end and he'll be crashing hard uh, in that final week. So he's going to have the potential to lose just huge amounts of time uh, like a Shimwe just did. I mean, a, Sh a Shimwe went from a couple minutes up the road to he lost 20 minutes from there. He, he lost 18 uh, Arab is up to 11th. He's still not in the top 10. He is up to two spots. Pagatcher is up three spots to 12th. Still behind Sammy Arab. Plap lost some time today, but not significant time. 444 down for him. But Ashimwe, 83 points in the King of the Mountains. 100 plus gets you into the top three or four by the end of the race. He's closing in on that. Uh, and right now is not quite doubling up everybody else. Plap 46, Tullet 44. They've been going hard in the breakaway for multiple stages, are going to be weaker. Fortunato, Shibway had what, plus two today? And we just about took Fortunato. I mean, he got us on both of the two cat two climbs, but we got him on, on the R's cat. Overall, we still outscored him today, but we were pretty balanced, and that's on a plus two. We don't know what he had. He, was, he had points already. This wasn't his first time scoring. He jumps five spots to fourth. But Samuels sits fifth, inching his way, picking up points. And then, of course, there's going to be the stages where it comes down to final climb. But he's not going to be that guy for much longer. He's got, he's got a couple stages left in him before that crash is going to begin. And he's going to start to lose time. So I don't think that Samuels is in position to do well in the king of the mountains at this point but he's at least helping us steal some points away from others i think i should be maybe using arab at this point or matoni at this point to try to steal points from others and not samuels samuels probably needs to just now focus on finishing as high as we can in the gc probably not podium uh, i'm not aiming high i'm trying to be realistic with it but for now things are going great 
it's the last week that I really worry though. Uh, so for now, doing what we can to do what we did today and see a bunch of guys lose time. Almost won the stage. Ah, that, that would have been cool to get another. It's okay though. I mean, we crushing our goals right now. Brambilla is second in the under 25s. Arabs fourth. The Shimway drops uh, from second to seventh, 20 minutes down there. Uh, that just knocked him right out. But really just two guys to compete with for the under 25s. In the team classification, we lost time today. Oh, we lost big time today. Only having two guys left in that uh, finishing group. La Grappetta apparently had three there. Uh, Jumbo Visma is still half an hour down. BMB still half an hour down. So they were in a similar state to us. But La Grappetta went from like nine minutes down to uh, they gained about eight minutes today. Uh, but, you know, hey, no matter that our team is punching way above our weight right now. And I'm very happy. I will not not take complaints over that one that was perfectly reasonable and and of course the Ashimwe plan uh went brilliantly we gained so many points over those first three climbs uh sacrificing what he had to do here which of course then cost him 20 minutes over that last 40k but no matter no matter great day for Ashimwe, great day for samuels great day for the team so close on getting Kind of the three out of three i mean we were millimeters away from uh three out of three for the day so yeah following the rest day we had a flat stage number 10 jasper Philipson has claimed victory there no changes in the standings uh Germay still leads the point standings though it's awfully close with arno delay uh Philipson jumps to third with that stage victory from seventh shimwe is actually in the top 10 points but absolutely not a contender for anything there same with samuels uh, there's too much variance in the 50 points you get on a sprint stage versus the other stages where it's what 20 uh, but there was zero climbs on the day so no changes there we didn't have to put anybody in the break everything's nice and comfortable and managed that's 10 stages out of the way essentially halfway Stage 11 was another rest day for us with another sprint, just a single KOM point on the day uh, availability with a sprint finish. However, this time the breakaway has claimed victory. Four minute advantage. Well, Albanese and Umbi just seconds ahead. Gurmai actually wins the sprint. Good for his points, I guess, I suppose. But, uh, and with the lie down at 11th, definitely good for his points. But it's the breakaway claiming victory. None of them. Uh, anywhere near top of the standings though so no changes no changes uh, in the points it's still Germay looking for his second Tour de France points jersey uh, Shimwe out, outside of the top 10 as Oscar only picked up 50 points for that one he had 34 already so that's big for him none of those breakaway guys impacted the team standings so we're still on top there as well as we are now definitely into the second half of the tour, stage 12, it's a punchy stage. I doubt there's going to be much in terms of separation GC-wise, but punchy finish could be an opportunity either for the break or uh, chance at a punchy result at the finish line with the remnants. Uh, I'm guessing that we wouldn't contend if it were that case. If it were the breakaways case, then a Shimways certainly has a chance. Not big points on the day, and actually, I don't know if I want to put a Shimwe on the break. His freshness is still only back to average after all of that, but he's also down to a plus two on his expected race day condition, and that is fatigue is really starting to pick up. So he still has his preparation, his objective, his attribute recovery being high enough for now. A 77 will last a few more stages before it really starts to become an issue for him. However, the uh, the fatigue part, when this uh, fitness peak goes away, when he gets down to the last days of it, he's going to be in trouble. And stage 12, uh, give it a couple more days. Um, what is up on stage 13 and 14? Or do I have to go try to get points now before it's too late? Uh, because that's, that's not many points. I'd rather give him a rest day, send somebody else in the break to go try to get the points, to keep them away from others it's very little but you go pick up two and two points instead of somebody else never mind that one but 
hang around and maybe get five points. It's kind of a day I'd rather just go straight to the finish kind of thing and not even bother with the break. But we have the yellow jersey, so if we have the yellow jersey, they're going to expect us to work. So I'd rather just put somebody in the break and be easy that way. But stage thir- oh yeah, stage 13 is a much better opportunity for a Shimway to go in the break. So we're going to sit out stage 12 with a Shimway, throw somebody else, somebody meaningless into the break and kind of set ourselves up for a late push and see if we can go for the stage. That's not going to take terribly long. We'll easily get to stage 13 as well. But with early climbs on that one, that means we're going to get pretty much the entirety of that stage. So I'm, I'm guessing we'll get stage 12 and 13 in the next episode. Uh, 14 is another one of those. Well, a Shimwe might be tired, but if he can go get 5, 3, 2, or 1 points before his fitness peak is gone, that could be just about it for him, which means you know we could be looking at a Shimwe topping out at maybe 120, 120. 10 in the king of the mountains before he's too tired and then 15 <laughs> he might not have the energy left to go out and get much more but if we can get him into that group and he takes sixth or fifth at a climb you know then he's grabbing a few points uh would have absolutely no chance at the columbia though at the end 16 that that's a big gc moment <laughs> 16 Better opportunity for the break, but again, a Shimwe might be exhausted. So that by that point, maybe we're switching our focus to like Matoni in the break to just take points away from others type scenario and leaving a Shimwe in the Peloton. Uh, 17. You've got to try to maybe send him that that day. So I, I'm thinking maybe three more days in the breakaway for a Shimwe. 13, 15, 17. And then 18, just des- desperately going for it because that's that's it for the KOM. 19, there's four points. 20, time trial. 21, zero points available. So the KOM is going to be wrapped up by stage 18, and that means the Shimway is probably going to spend four days in the break. And that also means we're looking at really just four or five days left for any sort of challenge to yellow. Besides the time trial at the end where we are definitely going to lose a ton of time. But um, Samuels did start his fitness peak a little bit later than others. If he can hang on to, you know, 15, 16, or even 17 on that fitness peak, he's got a chance at a podium. Not to win. That stage 20 is going to 35K. The climb at the end is going to be okay for him. Uh, But that first 29K... Time trialing wise, he's going to be awful. He's going to lose a ton of time. He can gain back a little bit on the climb, but he's going to be well down. He's going to lose minutes. Uh, but if we're looking at being down to five riders or less that are within minutes at that point, and he's still somewhere around maybe second or third overall, then he's got a chance. I think more likely we're looking at top five for Samuels being a possibility at this point. Uh, as opposed to anything else. But hey, big final third of the race coming. Uh, but we've still got to get through 12 first. But like I said, that's we, we might pick up from about here late in that one because it's not going to be a shimmy in that, in that break. That's going to do it for this episode, though. Decathlon Gamer, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.